It's so crazy and surreal to see how much my life has changed over the past 10 years. But the one thing that has always remained true and constant is my love for wine. We launched Spade and Sparrows in May 2019. And to be honest, right before we launched, I had this moment where I was like, what if nobody likes it? When you're first starting a business, you don't really know what you're getting into. I felt super hopeful that people would dig what I was doing, but I was also really nervous. I feel like you're so hands-on with all your businesses. Well, you know what? Literally, hands-on. <laughs> it's product testing, Taryn. Someone's got to do it. It's called, it's called uh, research and development. Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> the whole winemaking process and the business of wine is incredibly complex and seriously humbling. Where did the name come from for your wine? So I named it Spade and Sparrows. I sat in a little tiny corner hole in the wall in Napa. It was this place called Goose and Gander. I'd been drinking wine all day and I was like, I'm just gonna sit here and come up with anything that comes to my mind, even if I think it's so dumb. And I just wrote down all these little things. My grandma used to call me Kiss Me Kate. I wanted to name Aww. my wine Kiss Me Kate. There's so many different things. And then I love playing cards with my family. The spade is the most powerful. Yep, the cat. Obviously everyone knows my fear of birds, but I always <laughs> wanted like a old school sailor sleeve tattoo on my arms. But instead I just got two birds on my arms, which are actually swallows. So I was coming up with all these names and then it said spades and then sparrows. And then I was like, wait, that sounds gangster together. Spade and Sparrows. For a long time, wine has been exclusively marketed to men. When I walked into a store and looked at all of the bottles on the shelves, they just didn't speak to me. So I knew I had to change that. The wine you like is such a personal thing. So when it came to creating mine, I knew I just had to trust my gut and make what I loved and hope that my taste buds did not betray me. Looking back, that was the easiest part. Then came the bottles, the labels, the corks, Packaging, licenses, websites, shipping, distribution, social media. Shall I continue? I felt like I was drowning under a mountain of stuff I didn't know that I signed up for. And this is why it's so important to build a team of people around you that you trust, that are aligned with your vision, and that have expertise in areas you don't know shit about. Our team is small, there's only four of us, and I can truly say I love each and every one of them. One step at a time, I started to find my groove and things started to come together. What happened next was basically my wildest dream actualized. You guys bought it and you loved it and you shared it over and over on social media. My favorite part of all of this has been reading all of your comments, your DMs, your emails about how much you love the wine. Happy Tipsy Thursday. Let's get tipsy tonight, Let's sister. Let's get tipsy. Let's Ooh. do it. Really, there's no better person to get tipsy. I know, right? Let's start at Aitlin Bristow. Love it! <laughs> they remind me of me. I'm really drinking red wine while sitting on my new fresh white bedding. Probably not the best idea, but sometimes, you know, guys, you gotta live life on the edge and... This is the ultimate form of success to me. I swear, did a little happy dance every time I read one of these messages. And the lengths that people went to to get this wine, man. I was just so blown away. I am so excited to share Spade and Sparrows 2.0 with you. I loved my first wine so much, it was actually kind of sad to see them sell out because I just wasn't ready to say goodbye. But I know round two is going to knock your socks off and we have so many exciting things in store for this year. I cannot wait to share them all with you. Kind of feel like a kid waiting for Christmas. <laughs> I'm no wine snob. I'm not a sommelier. I'm just a girl who loves having a great glass of wine in her hand. I create wine that I want to drink and that I want to share with my favorite people. I feel so fortunate to be part of this community of wine loving wackos. So cheers, guys. And thanks for making my dreams come true.